friends. I hope you're having a good day. All right, let's see what the message is. A tidy house, clarity and organization. I feel like if your house is messy, your brain is messy. That's with me anyway. Like, if my house is overly cluttered, I am. Um, I get like messy in the brain as well. So that could be the case for some of you guys. Um, number one could be significant, and we also have jeweled web connectivity and resonating. Okay, so the whale song. All right. And tidy house. You could be doing a lot of cleaning. Or you might want to. Like get rid of old stuff to make room for new stuff. I feel like you're going to be. It's about um, receiving time. Okay. Which is terrific. Alright. Let's see what the tarot says here. Okay. We have the lovers. Ooh. We get the death card. And we have the Page of Cups, okay? So you could be getting a message coming in from somebody who wants to partner up with you um, or somebody making a choice to end something um, with a message. This could be like a message or coming in from a Scorpio or somebody that you're in a partnership is going through a transformation or a rebirth um, and wants to send you a message, all right? So put this how this fits, guys. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is something that's fated to happen. Okay, and then we got the Seven of Cups that flew out in reverse. I feel like someone is seeing through the fog. And which card is this right here? The uh, Seven of Pentacles. So I'm seeing 77. I've been seeing that number a lot lately. You might want to look it up. It's a really awesome number to be seeing. So someone is seeing through the illusions. They um, might want to um, invest, okay? Or they're reaping what they've sown. Okay, that's another card for me. Like, um, you get what you give. All right. Okay, let's see. Ooh. We got uh, the temperance card. Things needed to be balanced out or things are about to be balanced out. Or this is about having patience. Okay. I'm seeing uh, Sagittarius. I'm seeing um, Leo. I'm seeing... Um, Let's see, Taurus. Um, I don't know what else the um, the Wheel of Fortune is. Um, Scorpio could be one of them. That I know there's four signs it's associated with. I do see the rabbit out here. Uh, so it could be like Empress energy. Scorpio we have in Gemini, all right? Uh, and then we have the sun, another Leo card. Someone's, um, someone's seeing something clearly. I feel like the light's being shown heavily on something. All right. Someone needs to be patient because um, their um, happiness is, is here. Okay. I'm picking up on Earth Angel energy. Uh, and so Ten of Wands is like the end of a cycle of being overly burdened to carrying all this weight on your own. Okay. And we have the hanged man. Yeah, I feel like the burdens are being released or some someone's waiting on something. Um, the page of wands is to start a new journey. I feel like um, something needs to be released. These burdens need to be released. Okay, let me clarify that again. Yeah, judgment. I feel like you're making a decision to leave some things behind or someone else's. Clarify this, please. Uh, so, the, so this is abandonment issues, rejection issues, okay? And then we got the, um, let's see, the star. So someone has hope and faith. Uh, and the nine of pentacles. It's, um, someone has um, mastered something, mastered themselves, mastered, um, is learning a lot of lessons in, in to do with like, earthly things, earthly matters, okay? Someone could be single, um, okay? I feel like uh, there's a wish that's about to come true or somebody reached for the stars and they caught one, okay? Someone could be in the spotlight. 
I'm picking up on like celebrity energy. All right. Someone being in the spotlight heavily. Uh, someone did something on their own. Somebody is financially secure on their own. All right. And we have the, um, I can't, I can't see that the letters are so small. The eight of pentacles is something to do with work. Okay. And somebody's doing a lot of work on themselves or working on their money, working on their business. And we got the ten of swords in reverse and they're leaving behind a betrayal. Um, they're over it. Like betrayal is put behind them and they're putting it to rest. And I see the ten of pentacles. The three of wands, this is expansion with your money, your finances, all right? And then we got the five of cups. Someone has regrets. Why is the five of cups out here? Someone's waiting for their ships to come in, having to do with money and finances, happiness, um, family, inheritances, okay? Could be a spiritual inheritance or a physical, doesn't have to be. And I'm seeing something clearly shedding the light on something. The Hermit card, okay. Uh, let's see. Someone could be regret and regret. Now they see something clearly. They did the research or somebody's doing research. They, they have regrets. Someone's waiting for their ships to come in. They're like waiting. Um, and then we get the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So it's like starting something new in regards to finances or like working on your money. Um, and the Two of Swords is like not seeing something clearly. Someone could be at a stalemate. All right, where is this going, please? The bottom of the deck is the Four of Swords. Somebody could be resting, recovering, um, in contemplation. I feel like this is more or less resting, okay? Um, Ace of Pentacles. So this is like a blessing coming in of prosperity. I feel like the floodgates are about to open for money for somebody. Uh, money and love, okay? Um, okay. And the Queen of Swords is like um, having 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 good boundaries in place or um, standing in your power, I feel like. Uh, so this person has the, the sword in their hand, okay? And then we get the Fool. It's like taking a leap of faith, okay? Um, and the world is like traveling. Someone could be getting ready to travel, all right? This could be, um, this could be completing of a cycle, okay? Starting something new, traveling. This is traveling because it goes from taking a leap of faith and then it's like closing a cycle. So it's like, or this could be the case for some of you, okay? Uh, the nine of cups is like wish fulfillment, all right, uh, I feel like the five of pentacles is here also. Is I feel like you have some people who are watching from the outside looking in. They're feeling left out. You're getting your wishes filled. You're getting ready to travel. Take a leap of faith. I feel like you shut the door on something and you're starting something new. Okay, this could be a business. I see the four of wands. Okay, this could be a platform. This could be a business. This could be celebration. This could be a family. This could be like uh, engagement, all right, marriage. Uh, did I say that? And the knight of wands, someone's very passionate. Um, and then we get the three of cups is like celebration. <clears throat> okay. And then we get the knight of cups. So someone feels very, they're in their emotions. They want to come towards you with this cup of love. All right. And then we get the king of cups and tell you how they feel. They could be in touch with their emotions. They might want to tell you how they feel, or this is you. All right. I feel like people are watching you manifest this. Okay. And, uh, you're moving forward. It's like someone, you, you could be like victorious in, in something in your life and you're standing in your power with the emperor card here. Okay. I feel like you bossed up. All right. And that's causing a tower moment for some people. Okay. Your happiness is causing a tower moment for some people. This is the six of cups. This could be a past life, um, soulmate. Okay. Or somebody, you know, from the past or something that happened in the past. I feel like the tower moment is here for whatever happened in the past. All right, and the Queen of Wands. So this could be somebody you're dealing with, or this is you. Who you're manifesting. You're um, you're very passionate. Okay, you're driven, successful. Okay, beautiful. Um, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, yeah, the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups are out here. All right, so this is your Ten of Cups, your Ace of Cups. And people are watching. Look, the eyeball is just like someone's just watching. Um, people could be watching you, all right? I see a lot of fish here. That's like abundance, all right? Yeah, this is like a happy family. Look at that. It's your happiness, all right? This is what I see here. I'm going to pull a couple of these Archangel Michael cards, and I'm going to call it a night, all right? This is beautiful. 
It says your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. So trust whatever you're feeling. Um, whatever you're feeling uh, in this situation, trust that you're on the right path here, okay? Someone's on the right path. It says detach from the situation. So whatever situation from the past is, you need to detach from it. I feel like you're leaving it in the past. I feel like you're moving into this new energy, this new life. And you need to spend more time outdoors, okay? I feel like this... Spirit, your spirit guides need or your ancestors need to communicate with you. They might do that through nature, okay? Uh, and I said, yeah, your inner guidance is tr is trustworthy. All right, guys, this is what I have for you. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your, your day, okay? 1033 could be significant for you.